been cut off. Okay, so right now, this is going to be like a quick, you miss so much entertaining stuff in the beginning. Okay, so basically I'm saying I'm talking, okay, and put some water on your crack busted hair. This is right before I go wash my hair. So if you have to do your hair, you have to wash it, but you something happens where you're really busy and you can't wash it. That's the whole premise of the style, okay? That's the purpose of this video is to show you how to style your hair on a busted hair day when it's all crack Barbie, it's all crack dolly scarecrow, and it's dry and you need to style it really quick. And if you have medium long hair, okay? So what I do, I put one braid before my ear. So I'm gonna use the braids themselves as my bobby pins. Even though I have two bobby pins right here in the front as my nice anchor style that will help me. That's the power of a simple pin. Okay, bobby pins matter. They really add a lot of styling power to a kinky type horsey hair like myself. Snap, crackle, pop. We don't like that, but it happens. So you take one, another section about two inches thick on either ear. So I just did one here, then I'm gonna do one here. And you just break that down. And this is the half up, half down style. I really like these types of styles. They're very, very cute. And I'm choosing not to do a voiceover anymore in my videos because I'm in the editing software. It's really convoluted and I just don't want to deal with that. It's really cumbersome, really um, time consuming. And she just has no time these days. Just absolutely no time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to continue breaking this down all the way down until you get to almost the tippy tips. You're going to leave the tippy tips out because we don't want those. Okay that is damaging to the hair, okay? If you braid your tippy tips, you're actually damaging the ends of your hair, please, especially if you have extremely kinky, forcey hair like this. So you really wanna stay away from putting excessive tension and a tight braid on the tips is, does um, classify as excessive tension. Okay, so we're gonna use the braids as bobby pins and this is a half up, half down bouffant. So we're gonna make the bouffant in the middle, pop it up, pop it up. Okay, pop that baby up. And your thickums as a 4C is totally helping your style right now because it's thickening that out and it's just making it like boom, pow, right? Almost as if you teased it, but you did it. Then you're gonna take these two braids at the sides and just push it up, push it to the front. This is a blue fall. Kind of conceal the braids themselves. And then you go in the back and you tie them like a shoelace in the very back. Tie that really quickly. You could pin that down or you can just do what I'm doing which is to tie it twice loosely. So the twice will make sure that the braid doesn't come out. I did not pull that tight. I pulled it very loosely on the second knot. Okay, so that way I know I'm not damaging my hair. So you just conceal the braids themselves. Kind of floosh the hair. You're gonna be fabulous busted. Okay, so you're gonna pull it out and just conceal those braids. You see how beautiful that is? You just conceal it, push it out. Even on a busted day, you would never know. Oh my God, Becky. Okay, you understand? It's just really, really great. You just try to separate the conspicuously sticky pieces so that it's all homogenous. It's always sliding out in the back. I want to just have a little bit more volume back there. So I'm just going to pull, pull, and bloosh. Floosh and fix. And here we go. Fabulous. See the 360. Hope you enjoyed this video. This great stuff. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later.